Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and this is the first time you've seen one of our videos. Why don't you drop a like, leave a comment, let me know what's your favorite beverage, whether it's H2O, is that, you, know, you just prefer to drink water, Do you, are you a milk drinker, are you drinking that, that soda pop out there, maybe some coffee, tea, I don't know, let me know what your favorite beverage is down in the comments, and hey, why not subscribe, we're on a road to 80,000 subscribers, and I would just appreciate it. Now, look, this is a rumor, I want to clarify out the gate. I'm not saying this is happening. However, after we read about it, I will talk about it as if it is happening so we can just enjoy the speculation that comes from it. And I'll explain why we are talking about this because it does come from a new Twitter account, but it's not actually new and the person's not hiding who they are. We are having a Breath of the Wild 2 rumor here about how some potential swordplay mechanics are going to work in the game, and I'm really excited about it. Uh, and the re the reason we're talking about it is the original account of this person actually has a pretty good track record. I'm actually surprised. We used to cover it as a joke, and then it turns out a few of the things we covered actually came true. So, you know what? We're going to cover this today as well. Let's get right into the news on the Breath of the Wild 2. So as you're seeing here, this comes from new account Infinite Takes. But who is Infinite Takes? This is formerly Hot Girl Video 69. Uh, and has been verified to be the exact same person. Uh, the reason they switched accounts is because of their username being what it is. Twitter was starting to limit the account. I'm not really surprised on that front. But they have gotten a number of things right in the past. So this is now their new account called Infinite Takes. And it says, rumor, there will be a unique one-to-one -one swordplay waggle system implemented in Breath of the Wild 2, which is it's called Unique. It's using new stick-sensitive angling system, allowing for complex sword handling and special attacks one-handed. Whatever that means. And then he notes later, yeah, it sounds like Skyward Sword to me. So I'm not sure how this is unique unless we're missing something. Uh, and it's interesting because Nintendo already adapted motion controls to the right stick in Skyward Sword HD. And for the most part, the adaption works really well. Fans actually did this themselves many, many years ago through emulation. But it's interesting that this is a possible direction for sword combat. Now, we know there's some deeper, or at least we presume there's some deeper Skyward Sword connections with Breath of the Wild 2. Obviously, we see Link in the Sky. The last time of that was obviously in Skyward Sword. We see the Master Sword glowing on Link's back. Again, the last time we had that happen was in Skyward Sword. Uh, there is a reference to a Skyward Sword character in the original game, but we never actually see that character come to fruition. But it's almost as if that character is back in some way. Just we don't actually see the cutscene that has it and then obviously there's you know various references to potentially demise or girahim fee etc there's a whole bunch of stuff that we could speculate on here that is not really confirmed but it sure seems to be hinting at a skyward sword like connection and what i find interesting here is when you talk about the unique one-to-one -one swordplay waggle system why is it called a waggle system uh, Waggle to me reminds me of like Twilight Princess back in the day on Wii when you would just shake the controller to, to you know, basically do a, a basic attack. Uh, it really wasn't that complicated. Uh, but stick sensitive angling system. It makes me wonder like, is this going beyond what Skyward Sword did? And would this be a controversial addition to the game? Because remember, while Skyward Sword HD was well received, people still tend to prefer the way everything worked in Breath of the Wild, which there were different types of attacks you could do. And by the way, different weapons you could use, but this would be just for the sword play, for the Master Sword? Uh, is this because Skyward Sword is coming back in some form here, so we have to use motion sort of gaming? I'm, I'm very curious because I actually really love the motion controls back in the day uh, for Skyward Sword, so I'm not actually opposed to this coming back. But it is interesting where they're talking about a waggle system, so I, I, I think there's going to be stick-sensitive plus maybe motion uh, if this is a thing. I, I find this to just be... Fascinating. I actually never thought Nintendo would consider bringing it back. I know that A.G. Anomo and Shigeru Miyamoto loved that combat system in Skyward Sword, but it really wasn't that well received. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if they decide, hey, we're bringing that back. And if it is brought back, do you think that this would actually be a deterrent to how well this game would sell? Obviously, they're making it perfectly playable on the Switch Lite, so it's not going to be a concern that you have to use motion. But it, it's going to be really interesting if they make this big fundamental 
gameplay change. And it is notable in Breath of the Wild. We haven't really seen Breath of the Wild 2 anyways in the trailers. We haven't seen any actual sword play, right? We've seen him use one of his new abilities from his arm and seemingly reversing time or reversing something to send the, the, the one thing back up. We've seen him do the dragon arm thing with the, the fire breathing. So we've seen some of his arm abilities, but the only thing we've really seen with the sword is when he's takes it off his back and just holds it like this, looking down at it as if it's talking to him or something. So I, I do find this to be, at least in my mind, utterly fascinating that this is the possible direction uh, for Breath of the Wild 2. Uh, and it, it, on the other side of the coin, is there anyone actually excited for this, thinking that this could actually take Zelda to the next level? Because there was obviously concerns that people were like, hey, is Breath of the Wild 2 going to be too iterative we might be visiting new areas new this new that but fundamentally the gameplay could feel very similar to the original and is that going to be enough but if they do this this fundamentally changes the gameplay and is this an optional thing is this you know you only use it if you want to otherwise you can stick to the button press or is this something that's going to be required and is it only required if you're using the master sword but then it's not required for any of the other items which might make us less likely to use the Master Sword in some cases, or maybe, if you love it, more likely to use the Master Sword, which I will say this, I'm not going to be opposed to it as an option, or I won't be opposed to it if it's only forced upon you if it's the Master Sword. So that's obviously something that we need to determine by actually playing the game. So, again, this is just a rumor. Take it with all the truckloads of salt you want. Put your tinfoil hats on and, uh, you know, throw it in the trash if you think that's what this is. But I got to say, the account this comes from, they have a pretty decent track record, at least enough to make a video on it and pay attention to see if this is something Nintendo's sort of keeping hidden for now. Uh, and if so, this could also explain why it's been in development for so long because that's a massive fundamental gameplay change that they would have to build into the engine and obviously all the physics that would go around with it. So I'm I'm very, very intrigued if this ends up coming true. Now, I don't expect this to be true, but also wouldn't be shocked because I do know, based on interviews, how much they loved Skyward Sword. And if this is specifically because there's a big Skyward Sword connection and Fee is back, well, in that case, I can see maybe if the Master Sword itself is only controlled in this way where all the other weapons work in the traditional sense. So um, that's going to be very fascinating to explore in this new game. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rubble Dance from Nintendo Prime. Uh, we will be having a live stream at some point today. I know you're kind of seeing a rapid drop of videos, like back to back to back hours. Uh, I don't know what's happening with YouTube. They're taking forever to run checks on my videos to make sure there's no copyrighted material I don't get it. I don't know what the problem is with YouTube's back end, but you know what? We have to work with what we got. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.